Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Topic 2. Access Control Introduction Hello and welcome back to Lesson 2 of the CISSP Certification Course by Simply Learn. This lesson is about access control. Access control is the second of the ten domains of the Common Body of Knowledge, CBK, for the CISSP Certification Exam. The access control domain outlines various information system security options that control access to an organization's information and data processing resources. In other words, this domain covers mechanisms like authentication, biometrics, etc., by which a system grants or revokes the right to access data or perform an action on an information system. The term access control basically means that we want to ensure that people and other entities, like services and processes, must be identified and authenticated before they are allowed to access the system or perform any action on the network. In reality, access control is an everyday phenomenon. A lock on a car door is essentially a form of access control. A pin on an ATM system at a bank is another means of access control. The possession of access control is of prime importance when persons seek to secure important, confidential or sensitive information and equipment. Objectives The objectives of ISC 2 for this domain is that the CISSP candidate should fully understand access control concepts, methodologies and implementation within centralized and decentralized environments across the enterprise's computer systems. Access control techniques, detective and corrective measures should be studied to understand the potential risks, vulnerabilities and exposures. Agenda Before I drill down more on the concepts and methodologies of access control, I will first briefly list out the topics to be covered in this lesson. We will begin with the overview and definition of access control and the relevant terms associated with access control. Then we will understand the various types of access control, models, techniques, administration, methods, accountability and practices. Finally, we will study the major threats to access control and countermeasures. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to meet all the objectives set by the ISC 2 for this domain.